Wrecking Box 6 is here and I got my locked DDJ SZ to work with it. Let's check it out. Yes, Wrecking Box 6 is here, but this is not a review. I am not going to do a review just yet because it keeps crashing on me. I don't know if it's just the software or if it's just the DDJ SZ and you know another device I have connected that's making it crash, but We'll see if I can do a review later on once it stops crashing. So just keep in mind that Wreck-It Box 6 is an upgrade, not an update. So that basically means that when you install Wreck-It Box 6, you're gonna have two versions. You're gonna have Wreck-It Box 6 and Wreck-It Box 5. So you're not gonna have any issues there. You don't have to worry about 5 if you don't like 6, if 6 keeps crashing on you. You can still go back to 5 and you can still rock and roll that way. Wreck-It Box 6 is divided lock devices and unlock devices. Not all Pioneer devices will work <laughs> with its own Wreck-It Box software. So just keep that in mind. Let's get to it. So you're gonna need this device right here. This is the DDJ XP1. And there's also an XP2, which is, I think it's a combination device that works with Wreck-It Box and Serato. But this one only works with Wreck-It Box. The XP1 only works with Wreck-It Box. But if you connect both the XP1 and the SZ, it should work. So let me tell you how that's done, basically. I connected the SZ, um, and then I fired up Wreck-It Box 6. Then I connected the XP, I'm gonna pull this up again, and then it started working. But then shortly thereafter, it just crashed on me. So I was like, okay, what's going on? So it's just frozen. I rebooted, so I tried something different. I tried connecting not only the SZ, but also, I'm gonna pull this up again, the XP1. And then I fired up Rocket Box. And so everything started working. It's frozen. Nothing. But it still uh, crashed on me. So I would connect both the SZ and the XP1 together at the same time and then turn on fire up Record Box 6. It's going to work, but it's going to crash. <laughs> And you know, you saw the clips, it just crashed, it stops, it freezes, and um, everything just works really weird. Let's get that update so we can uh, start working the XZ and the XP, I'm gonna pull that up again, with the Record Box 6, because it's kind of cool if you're using the XP with Record Box, because you have all the controls right here. You have all the pad controls, the hot cues, you have the pad effects, you have the beat jump, the sampler, every single thing, it works here. Um, so I'm hoping that this update really comes sooner rather than later so we can really start working out on um, Record Box 6. So this was just a quick video letting you know how to get your lock device working with Record Box 6, but you're gonna need something like this the XP1 or something like this to get it to work. Well, there you have it. Until next time, peace.